Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today we're going to talk about the face of horror contest. And the question is, is face of horror a scam? Now I feel you. I feel some people might be watching saying yes and some people may be watching saying no, that's ridiculous. So the short answer is no, it's not a scam. It's a ploy. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. Um, I looked up the definition of both before I made this video, so it's more of a ploy than a scam. And I've noticed some people have made videos about it being a scam and stuff. And when I hear those people explain it, the people, the various people I've seen talk about it, not just here, but like on TikTok and stuff, it seems more like they're more bitter that they didn't win, that they didn't win, than that it they thought it was actually a scam. Do you know what I'm saying? Like being kind of poor sports, I guess. Um, I entered last year and I was, I did really, really well. I got to the, I got really close to the end. Um, it was looking good for me, but everyone I know who entered and I knew hundreds of people that entered can say the same thing. They all had the same thing to say. They they were like, when it started, they were like, oh my God, I'm in third place in my group. I'm like, wow, I'm in second place. And somebody else was like, I'm in fourth place. You know, everybody was like very excited because they were placing first, second, third, fourth in their group and got to move on to the next one. And 100% of the people that I knew who were participating got to move on several stages you know none of them won obviously but it was just weird how all of us were doing so well you know and what they do is they take all the entries and we're put in, in different groups so you have these groups so I was for a long time I was first place in my group so I moved on and then I was always first place in that group and I moved on then there was somebody else that was first place in their group and they kept going on and so on and so on. And then the groups would break down because they would move on to different levels. So there was a way for everyone to feel good about where they were position wise in their group, which in turn, might make some people encourage their friends and loved ones and people to purchase votes to help them get further. Now the person with the most votes does end up winning, but it's gonna cost lots and lots and lots of money, lots of money. And so no, it's not a scam. It is a ploy to get more money. Now, they do raise money for a good cause. Now, that it's not all the money's going. It, it's, I believe it's 25% goes to the Be Positive Foundation, which is a group that helps families of children with cancer. I wasn't familiar with it, and you know Marshall had cancer when he was a little, little baby, and um, I've worked with um, several child children's cancer organizations, and I just, I, I, it's just, I've never heard of them before this contest. And I mean, that's a good thing that they're doing that. And they are a legitimate charity. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I just never heard of them. Just saying that as a matter of fact. Like, but, um, lost my train. It's, I'm getting so old. Um, the winner last year was a lady named Whiskey Tango. She is a burlesque performer, I believe. I did find her, her Instagram page. Um, I did get to see the photos of, oh, let me explain first. The prize last year was $13,000 after taxes. That would be just per my calculations around $11,200, but still that's nothing to scoff at. Um, so $13,000, a photo shoot in the Silence of the Lambs Buffalo Bill House with Kane Hodder. Um, and I think you get to stay at that house for a weekend. And a walk-on role on some movie, which I don't think that ever happened. 
I don't know, but I don't think it did. And um, it seemed like there was something else, but the bunny to Kane Hodder photo shoot. And the, and the photo shoot would go into Rue Morgue magazine, which is a notable magazine among the horror people. And so the photo shoot did happen. She did win the prize. Um, Whiskey Tango did. The photo shoot did happen. I saw the photos. They were in Rue Morgue magazine. They're on Rue Morgue's Facebook page. And she has, I think, one or two pictures on her Instagram. It may only be one picture, but it did happen. She did win. And uh, she did put out a video explaining because I get. I guess she was getting kind of harassed, like people were saying, you know, like somebody bought her the win or something like that, which essentially that's what it is. People have to buy the votes for you to buy you the win. But she explains here, and I'm just going to show you this video. Five dogs here, and I got a little distract. Actually, I'm distracted right now because they're over there like eating a Taco Bell wrapper. Anyway... I got on here to tell you guys to not fall for any scams that might be coming into your inboxes about Face of Horror. I was not sponsored or helped to win Face of Horror by any magazine or publication or anything else. I've gotten a few questions about Live Beauty or United Beauty or something. I did not have help. I do not know what that's about. Um... I really just entered the contest and uh, won because I had friends and fans and family that voted for me every day for free and also for money. <laughs> so I think the votes are like a dollar. I do not know how much it took overall. I know my brother-in-law put in 50. I know I had a friend uh, put in a lot of money. So let me tell you, there were 150000 competitors in that contest you are going to have to get everyone on your side that you can and it's going to take some bucks it, it just is you're incentivized if you can you know post content every day do photo shoots do makeup there are a lot of people got to the end so a lot of people had support so i believe some of you will get to the end and have the support you need to win i did not ever in my wildest dreams expect that I would win, okay? So it was a shock to me. And uh, one of the coolest things that's ever happened probably in my life. So, yeah. If I can do it, I'm going to say that you can do it. Because I am not rich. I didn't even know that people love me enough to buy all those votes. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. You guys, somebody out there, you got this. Get your people on your side. Get it. All right. Have a great weekend and don't fall for any scams. Seriously, protect yourself. <laughs> Bye. So that was, that was Whiskey Tango talking about her winning and everything. And so anyway, back to where they break us up in the little groups. Oh, wait, did I say the part about the... Let me start start this part over. At the, at the very beginning of the contest, you're told you find out about the contest, you sign up for it. A little while later, they notify you and say you've been chosen. You get to go on in the contest. They make it sound like you were chosen, like you they especially selected you to continue on in the contest. Sort of like not everyone will get picked, but everyone gets to enter the contest. And so you're not special. Everybody that wants to enter enters and they get chosen. So, yeah. Um, and you, they give you the links to share and everything. They make it really easy to share your link to your profile. And you can share it on Facebook. You can share it on Twitter. You can share it on whatever the Instagram one is conversations or whatever that is I don't remember what it's called but you and you can share it on your Facebook I mean on YouTube in the community tab um, but yeah you can share it and I did get a lot of people voting for me last year I really did and a lot of people did buy votes for me 
I was uncomfortable with that, but it does help you. You know, the votes do help you get ahead. And if they buy the votes, they do help you get ahead. But the amount of money people would have to spend to get you ahead <laughs> was like, I had no chance in hell of winning because I really don't have that many friends and that many supporters who, who would do that. But, um, and Whiskey Tango did. And you know what? Good for her. Kudos to her. I'm, I'm glad she won. Um, you represent. But, um, because I never thought I was going to win anyway. It was just, I'll just enter for fun. Because I thought it was a makeup contest. It didn't specify anywhere that it was. But I really thought it was like a horror makeup contest until I scrolled through and I saw everybody else who was participating. And like almost no one did their makeup. They were just normal and pretty and cute and beautiful people. Wonderful people, I'm sure. But just, well, I'm like, they didn't even try. And I'm like sitting here with blood all over my face, peeling my face off and stuff. And, and they're like, hi, which is great. I mean, I, but there was no personality, but it was, I don't want to say it was a popularity contest because I don't want to cheapen Whiskey Tango's win. You know, she won and, and because she's a burlesque performer, I'm really happy about that. Um, it's something I've always wanted to get into burlesque, but I don't know the first thing about it and I don't know how to do it, but you know, I'm really, I'm happy for her. I'm glad she won. I'm glad to find out that there was an actual winner, that it wasn't just some McDonald's monopoly thing, you know, I am very glad to find out there was a winner and I'm glad it was her. I'm glad it was the burlesque performer and, um, I'm really happy about that. But I just, it's too hard. <laughs> it, no, it's not hard. It's just, you have to be out there every day, pounding the pavement, if you will, getting people to go vote for you. And then it may never pay off in the end. I knew it wasn't going to pay off for me, but last year I kept asking people to vote for me and they did. I got a ton of votes. I got very far in the competition, but we're not exactly sure of the honesty of the competition because so many people were doing so well. Like, like I said, I knew over 200 people that were doing really, really well. How could all of us be doing equally well? How is that possible? You know, I had, I knew people with a lot more people voting for them than me. And I had people with a lot fewer people voting, voting for them. I had people who weren't promoting it at all and were still doing really, really good. And they kept moving on. So I just, that was weird to me. That was a red flag to me. So them acting like you've been especially accepted, that was kind of a red flag. But I mean, you don't really lose anything. Like, that's why I say it's not a scam. It's a ploy. Because they're not taking your credit card and going on shopping sprees with it. It's, you know, they're taking the amount you allow them to take and giving those votes to that person. But it's just got to be so many votes. And I don't think the practice was really that honest. I do think the person that got the most votes in the end won. I do think that. But the whole thing where everybody in every group that I knew was doing so well, that's really weird how... Can all of us be doing so, so well? I know, I, I'm, I'm dwelling on it. It's ridiculous. But I think that, you know, and I've seen a lot of videos, and I've re-recorded this a couple times, so I don't know if I already said this, so if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. But I've seen a couple videos here, here and on TikTok and other places where people were like, well, I think it's a scam. Basically, they were saying, I think it's a scam because I didn't win. <laughs> It's pretty much what they were saying, or they were like, well, she's not the face of horror. What the hell is she the face of horror? It doesn't matter. See, that's where it gets me. I'm like, so you're just being a poor sport because you didn't win. Because she, um, the rules didn't say you have to be scary. You have to put makeup on and be scary. The rules didn't say that. And I honestly never saw Whiskey Tango's profile, so I don't know. But it never said you have to do that. You just... The rule was just enter the contest and promote it. 
because that's what they it that's what they wanted. They wanted to raise funds. Now, only 25% of the money raised goes to the Be Positive Foundation, supposedly. I tried to get confirmation from the Be Positive Foundation if they were, in fact, paid the money. And I got a response, but it was inconclusive, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, the person who responded was not familiar with what I was talking about. And I kept reading my email over and over again, thinking, well, it's clear. So I don't know, maybe they're just, maybe there's some agreement where they're not to talk about it or something, but she could have just ignored my email then. But so that was weird. And I don't like how they just get 25% of it because people think, well, it's for a good cause. So they don't go read the small print and see that they only get 25%, which still when they're raising millions of dollars, 25% is still good. But I would really rather a charity get the majority of the money, even if it's just 55%. But, um, so where does the other 75% go? I know they have to manage the website with all the entries. I know they have to do that. But where does that 75% go other than that? It goes to the person running the contest. And it was the understanding of some people that the guy that started the contest... Let me see if I can find them. Put my old lady eyes on. No offense. What is this? Oh. Let me see. It's Jim Ven. Ven Venandola is his name. So. And he does have an IMDB page. That guy right there. And he runs the contest. I just feel like the charity should get more money. That that doesn't mean it's a scam or anything. But I want to know where is the money going. If not to the Be Positive Foundation. So it's going to him. So what is it being used for? So here's the Face of Horror website. That's Kane Hodder. So, oh, 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 here's this year's award. You get a photo shoot with Kane Hodder at the Woodbury House. Is it Stu's house or is it Sydney's house? Let me read this. Those chills and stills the imminent face of horror will conjure with Kane Hodder at the Woodbury House, an iconic film and location known for American Horror Story, True Blood, and VHS, among others. The colonial revival structure was built in 1882 and ha has a haunted history with reports of regressive spirits wandering the hall. I don't know that house. And, um... The photo spread, the photo shoot is by, is going to be in Rue Morgue, again, which is good. And it says here, Jim Vindiola is an American, winning Filipino-American filmmaker whose work explores themes of heartache, longing, liminality, eros, and pathos. He has been recognized by the industry of various rewards, including the Best Director Award at the 2021 Chicago Underground Film Festival for his latest film, Pretty Pickle, blah, blah, blah. So here's Whiskey Tango right here. There's one picture. A 
and then there's information about the B Plus Foundation. So, anyway, as I said, the short answer was it's not a scam, but it's just very odd. I find it very odd the way they do it. Now, this isn't the only contest that's formatted this way. There's another one called, I believe it's called Fab Over 40, and it's formatted much the same way. And it's where you're, I mean, the website is exactly the same thing, instead of, but instead of um, horror, it's related around beauty and being fabulous over 40. And it's the same thing. You're broken into groups, and then you can move on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. But I entered that one also to see, and I, I've i been consistently in the top five <laughs> last year and this year. So it, it's very odd because I have not promoted it at all. And this face of horror, currently to, today, I'm in second in my group. And I'm not doing anything to get votes. I'm not trying to get votes or anything. Uh, so that's really weird. I just, I feel like they're making it look like people are in these, you know, doing well in it so that they will encourage their people to buy them votes. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe Whiskey Tango asked people to buy her votes. I think she just promoted it just like we're all promoting it, but she just ha has a really supportive base that wanted to see her win and she won. And uh, I think that's great. So I hope people don't sit here and, and wanna go after her because she won, because she won she won legitimately as far as the contest was ran. But I just think there are a lot of people that think it wasn't ran fairly. And so in their mind, that means it was a scam. It was ran fairly. It was just tricky. It was like tricking people into spending money on votes for people that were never going to win. You know what I mean? Um, but again, I'm glad Whiskey Tango won. Congratulations to her. Um, I would like to win it. I think that would be cool to win it, but I'm just not promoting it. So when it gets down to the nitty gritty, I'm just not gonna win because I'm not promoting it anymore. But hi, Tina. But um, anyway, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from me. I'm all, you know, but uh, I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.